What up? Coming to you live from a Honda Street. I told you guys a couple days ago. We're just gonna get right into the video. I told you guys a couple days ago. If no one buys that green Honda Street, that I'ma buy it. Then I came back and I was like, eh, I don't really need it. I don't need it. And then here I am last night at 1 a.m. I'm buying new plugs, new wires, the oil filter for the Beat, and I get two of everything. And then you might be asking yourself, why did I get two? I don't have two Honda Beats. I don't have two Honda K cars at all. But that green one. That green one is calling my name. I think that I'm gonna sell the Moto Couple. I found someone that could buy it, but he wants to give me like installments, and I don't know if I really wanna do that. But I found someone that could buy the Moto Couple, and if that happens, then I think I'm gonna have to buy that Acti. Which even just saying those words, I have to buy that Acti, just sounds crazy, like psh, 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 psh. But in the meantime, I wanted to show the Sandbar one last time. If you remember, I came here like, I think two months ago, and I really wanted to buy this. We just weren't able to make it make sense and I end up just waffling off the life. And I still like this car, I still like this car a lot. I think that this would make a lot of sense if I didn't have the Beat. I would rather have a K-Truck and a K-Van instead of a Beat and a K-Truck. It's like two two-seater small cars, it does nothing for me. But this guy, we're gonna dedicate the video to this beautiful beast. So this is a 1997 Subaru Sandbar. And in my opinion, this might be the most complete K-Truck. The sandbars are known for having some additional space when it comes to the cab. You can see right here in the seats, the passenger seat's a lot more forward than the driver's seat, which makes the ride just a lot more comfortable. You get some cool quirks, like some additional storage back there. And then probably what makes the sandbar the most elite K-Truck has to be the Clover 4. So not only is this four cylinder, but you're able to do maintenance a lot easier compared to the other trucks. And that's definitely one of the biggest selling points when it comes to the sandbars. This one is listed for 4,900, but the K is the way, way before the fame price. It's 4,700 plus, plus, plus 100 miles of free shipping. So if you live 100 miles between Queens, it's free shipping and 4,700. All these cars come with import papers. Obviously, it won't come with a title for that price. He can help you get a title depending on where you live and all your laws and all that stuff. But this guy is super clean. I'm loving the interior pattern. I think these seats are very mint. I believe it has a newer cluster. I feel like the older sandbars, 99.7 and below, do not have all these lights here. They're a lot more simple. Interior-wise, there isn't much to show. It is a K-Truck at the end of the day, but you do have 131,000 kilometers. It is five speed with ultra low and push button four wheel drive. You have your standard Japanese radio that doesn't work because our frequencies are different. This one does not have AC. That's this button right here. And I think this is fog lights or something like that. So you don't have that either. But up here, it does come with a Japanese lighter. Look at this. This is definitely some cool JDM points. And then you have your, you know, just your traditional little Subaru book. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna grab the keys and start it door chime works starts right up you don't even really get to hear the cab definitely a lot of headroom but i feel like that's every k truck i'm not going to give this one any extra points for that let's see if this light works Ooh, it does what else can we talk about that's pretty much it car is pretty standard let's see if this oh wow the speakers do work that's a nice touch no cigarettes in there I'll move it up a bit just so we get some additional space behind me. Feels good. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. How do you get it to ultra low? I never knew that. Do you just have to go far? Like, am I in ultra low now? Does it tell you when you're in ultra low? Do you have to push four wheel drive? Four wheel drive button is on, but I haven't had a sandbar. I don't know what ultra low is. Someone comment below, how do you, or is this just ultra low and I just don't know any better. Let me show you guys the engine bay. Last time I looked, there was a little spark coming from the distributor cap or rotor, but I asked some people around and they said it wasn't a big deal at all. Let's see if that's still there. Oh uh, yeah, it is. I pull up my phone so you can see. So there's a spark right there. I don't think it's a big deal. I asked a couple of people before I was gonna buy this and they were like, eh, that's nothing to worry about. It's probably, like I said, distributor cap or rotor. But you can see there isn't any crazy shakes. The car's probably been sitting for a while. No smoke, it smells clean. I'll give it a couple revs and leave my camera here. Sounds good. Let's turn on the lights, see if everything works. I'm really making this video mostly because I feel like this guy has some steals. I know they don't come with titles, but the fact that he's 10 minutes away from me and the fact that he just has cool cars like this guy. Like, look at the sandbar. The lights look super bright. 
He has the white street over there. Then he has a green one on the other lot. Look at that, all the lights work, high beams on, has a cool badge. I think this means it's like a farmer car, so that's cool. But even with 141,000 kilometers, it does not look like it has a lot of miles at all. But yeah, this thing is cool. I'm trying to show you guys some K deals whenever I come across them. More times than not, I just leave and don't really say anything, but I feel like this one is a really good deal. I feel like that green Acti Street is a good deal. I even feel like this white Acti Street's a good deal. For 5,000, I could probably get it to you for like 47 maybe again, and then still 100 miles of free shipping. I still think that's a good price for a caveman. This one just needs a wash next, but it's a 1996, five speed, has AC, 153,000 kilometers. Interior is iffy. I don't love it, I don't hate it. Comes with a bench seat. If you're looking to do like a camper build, like this would be irrelevant to you, or you could just get that fixed up if you want to still use it. Besides the fact that it just needs a good cleanup, this is not a bad van. It comes on 14 suit, which alone are worth like, let's just say $300, because these are 14 by five and a half. It's kind of hard to find those. So if this is 4,700, the rims you take off, that's like 4,200 at this point. Comes with AC. Let me see if I can find the keys and let's fire this one up because I haven't started this one yet. Just got the keys, let's see. Will it start? Ooh, it started right up. Okay, okay, okay. He's gonna wash this one next. Sounds good, let me give it a couple revs. Sounds good, it doesn't have an RPM gauge like the other one, but. Doesn't sound bad at all. Let me drive this real quick. Let's get back in here. Clutch and everything feels good. I know I'm not driving it for real, like a real test drive, but even just shifting into second right now, it doesn't feel bad. It feels good. Quick transition to my homie shop. So if you remember this place, these are the homies that helped me wrap the Jimny. I am now gonna wrap this car again myself. And I was thinking of a couple colors. I was gonna do black at first, but I feel like this car has to be like a loud color. A lot of people are telling me to do yellow, but I don't wanna do a car that the color came in. So I don't wanna do white, I don't wanna do yellow, I don't wanna do red, and I don't wanna do silver, obviously. I really wanted to do this grayish blue that you see right here. I thought this color was perfect. It isn't too far from the color that the car is right now. So when I open the doors, it won't look weird. I was even considering this purple but they don't have enough i even thought about doing this pink i love that orange but they don't have enough of any of those either so i have to order a full roll and i didn't want to do this they definitely have enough of this sand color but i feel like it's not cool enough same for that brown i feel like i needed a loud color like that like that one that i like that green i don't want to do red so i got the 3m swatch book and the first color i fell in love with was this copper right here like imagine this on the beat that looked beautiful sold out and then i was like okay i'll get like the m3 yellow sold out so then I came back over here. I was gonna get this black with like glitter, not that one. This galaxy black right here, again, sold out. And then I was like, you know what, F it. Let's just do purple. He already has purple in the shop. Doesn't have enough. So I think the color I'm gonna go with is this guy right here. It's kind of like a matte, like midnight navy. The beat doesn't come in blue, so that's a big pro. And he has a lot of it, and it's not too expensive. I think for this car, I'm gonna need about 25 feet. So he told me 300 bucks. I think that's not bad to do an entire car myself. I'm probably gonna need some help in some areas maybe here, so I might end up paying some more to have it professionally done. But for the most part, I wanna do this whole car by myself. I'm gonna see if Jay Monica helped me again. But good news on the Honda Beat, we're definitely making progress. Once I get the car wrapped, I'm gonna keep these rims for now, but I got like 10 sets of rims coming in a container and then we'll start installing some parts. We'll start doing some fun stuff. So I'm gonna pick up the rest of the rolls tomorrow. I'm gonna see if I wrap it this weekend and maybe by this time next week, the B will be 100% done as far as the wrap goes. I still gotta wait for my soft top. I still gotta wait for my intake. Still gotta wait for my exhaust. Still gotta wait for my rims. Still gotta wait for all that stuff. But we do have a color. But I'm gonna end this video here. Also have seat covers coming soon. I'm gonna put my logo here. I got a lot of fun stuff coming to the channel and to the beat, but I catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Remember the name. This is for the fame.